Hey guys, Kiko here, and let me show you something that I'm always using on my compositions, on my solos, and I know it's going to be very helpful for you as well, and uh, it's going to help you to, to visualize better the chord progressions of a song, uh, it's going to help you to play, to, you know, to be more melodic when you improvise. I'm talking about open triads. So first, let me show you what is a triad. Okay, and then we show how to change a, a, a closed triad to a, an open triad. All right, so let, let me give you the example on G major. Okay, tonic, third, and fifth. Uh, G major will be G, B, and D. Then you play G, B, and D all over the neck. Right, so here, G, B, D, G, B, D, G, B, D, okay? So here, if you play in one string, tonic, one, two, three, the third, one, two, three, the fifth. So this is the triad. And now, what I'm going to do is to move the B to the octave. So we're gonna have so this note here it goes to the octave. Now it's you see it's pretty open, right? So G to D and D to B here. So and it sounds open, so you can hear better the notes of the triad. Alright, so this is the major one, and minor, minor third. Okay. So now let's move on and uh, let me show you the inversions. So if you have this shape here, tonic, the fifth and the third, now you can do from the tonic you go to the third, from the fifth you go back to the tonic, and then from the third you go to the fifth. So same notes but inverted. You can play like this. Now the same exercise, you just go third to the fifth, the tonic to the third, and the fifth to the octave. Now we have the fifth on the bass. So tonic on the bass, first inversion, third on the bass, second inversion, fifth on the bass. Now back to the octave. Now we have okay, cool, easy. Another way to do that is to play on the same position. So so here, same notes. Here. So we have and then the octave. So exercise for alternate picking as well. It's not easy, so uh, slow, play slowly, so you're gonna get there. Let's try now to play the minor version. So here, every time you have a B, you have to play B flat. Here, B is here, so B flat. B flat 
here and E flat here. Nice, right? Or it was like this, right? B, now B flat. B flat here. Right? And what about if we try to play a two chord progression, like a C major, G. So it would sound something like that. So I think it's, it's enough for now. So now if you want, add more chords to this progression or just stay there, C major, G major, C minor, G minor. There's a lot of stuff to memorize here already. So enjoy, have fun. And of course, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments. And uh, on the next videos, I will show more uh, solos or ideas using open triads. See ya.